All righty, we have a break or disconnect box here. Here in the country I was born in, we have a 220, 240 volts. It is uh, two hot wires, 120 volts each, lined to neutral, and it's 220, 240, line to line. Here in the country I was born in, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps. Black is live, white is neutral. The bare green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So I'll show you how to hook up this uh, double pole 220-240 volt breaker in this little uh, sub panel here. It's for a ice cream machine. It's a larger one. It's for making the uh, ice cream cones for soft ice cream. And this is 12 on uh, 20 amps, 240 volt. Alrighty, so first we have a, a white and a black, and both of these wires are going to be live. We have the uh, white and a black and we also have a uh, green wire here and that's just uh, some pull cord there to we can just cut out of there because we don't need it just some twine to hold the wires together because you buy it on a spool to put in conduit so first what we have to do is remark these white wires live and what we can use is some black electrical tape This will let a person in the future know that this wire is used for a live conductor rather than a neutral. This is one of the examples where a white wire can be alive. And this appliance does not require a neutral, so we have no neutral wire in here. It's a straight 240 volt circuit. Okay, so now we'll put our two line wires coming in up here. So we'll strip our white and our black with our number 12 holes. We'll open up our terminals here. Get our wire into the box. Make sure it's down below, down in the terminal all the way and our insulation doesn't get caught in the... Uh, make sure we have, see our copper down below here and our copper at the top and our insulation is not pinched. And we'll get our black one in here. I'll make sure it's long enough, which it is. Make sure our copper comes down through the bottom here. See the copper coming through the bottom there and our insulation is free from being inside the uh, connector there and we'll tie our ground in up here.
put our wire through, make sure it goes through our terminal, comes out the other end. Make sure it's nice and tight. Push, whoa. Get tight and all the way. So we got to tighten it up really nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure it's tight. Now it's nice and tight. I pull on it, it's not moving. Okay. So now we'll put our other ground wire under this green, this ground terminal here. Push it up underneath here, see our copper come up through. I'm going to just good and tight. Make sure it's good and tight. Now we'll stick our breaker in here. Here's our two terminals in the breaker. You'll see the uh, little slot in there. You slide the wire and make sure it gets into that little groove. So we'll, just for cosmetic purposes, we'll keep our black and white on the same side. So we'll put our black under our pressure plate here like that. See that pressure plate and our copper is all the way up at the top and our insulation is just below the terminal. So we'll just snug that up real nice and tight. And we'll do the same with our white wire. Make sure it's in all the way. It's See how that stripped a little long? So I'm going to cut a little off of that there. See our, we see a little copper right here at the bottom and about our insulation below the pressure plate. You can see the copper is up through all the way. I'm going to snug this up nice and tight. Make sure it's tight. This is number 12 wire and we're using a 20 amp circuit breaker so now we can just Put our wires into our box. It's a tight little spot here, so that's why we put it in. So we'll snap our bottom one, snap it in on the top. Make sure no wires are pinched. So we're snapping in on the bottom. And we're going to just look and see why it isn't. Okay, now it's snapped in on the bottom, snapped in on the top. No wires are pinched anywhere. And we'll go turn the main breaker on in the other room. All right, we turned our breaker on in the other room. So we're going to use our digital multimeter here from Lowe's. We have 600 volts and we have 200 volts. And we're checking for 240, so we're going to put it on 600, which is the lowest setting that's more than the voltage we have coming in. So we'll take, we can... Uh, Turn this breaker on because that out nothing's plugged into the app. We hooked up, and we'll check line to ground. We have 120. Line to ground, we have 120, and we'll check line to line. We have uh, 240. So we are all set, and we can put the cover on this box now. This is a square DQO uh, box. Just sits on top like that. And it just goes over top like that. And we just stick our nut in here.
And we don't have a nut driver, so we'll just tighten it with our uh, pliers. And just nice and tight. So that is how to uh, wire a uh, 240 volt disconnect here in the country I was born in. Peace. Thanks for watching.